The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah. 1954. Yes. Universal Studios. Right. Classic, legendary, Ugh. beautiful little monster movie. Yes. Here he is menacing Julie Adams. Yeah. His co-star. Nice. I love this movie. Yeah. So I've been drawing monsters, and I'm going to draw the creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah. And you may have noticed mm -hmm. that this isn't a five by seven sheet of paper. Oh, yeah. It's bigger. Yeah. It's bigger than the normal monster drawings I've been doing. Right. You also may note yeah. that he isn't just a bust. Oh, yeah. It's a full figure. Full size. Yeah. Nice. And there's two reasons for that. Okay. One. Yeah. The creature from the Black Lagoon. Mm-hmm is a full-bodied monster. Oh, wow, yes. Wow. <laughs> Two, of all the classic Universal monsters, uh -huh. he's my absolute favorite. Oh, he's your favorite. He is my favorite. I know that you're a Frankenstein fan. Yeah, I am. And I'm guessing that's probably because uh -huh. your dad, well, your dad and your mom both yeah. look like Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> they do. You see? There's a resemblance. <laughs> but the creature is my favorite. Okay. So not only am I going to draw him larger right. than my other monsters, not only am I going to draw the full body pose. Yes. Not only am I just going to ink him. Yeah. But I am also, in addition, going to do ink wash oh. to match his watery lair. Yeah. And uh -huh. if I don't blow it, okay. I'm going to color him. Yeah. Appropriately yeah. with watercolor. Aha! Uh -huh. yeah. That is appropriate. Right. Nice. Now, are you going to list your uh, tools and supplies down below? I Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll list them. Yeah. It's not that I know what I'm doing, but <laughs> I will list them <laughs> in case in people want to try it. Yeah. Okay. Now, we have a lot to cover. Yeah. So I didn't record all of my inking, but here are some of the final stages. Okay. And at this point, it's just tech pens mm -hmm. and brush pens. Nice. You know, another reason that the creature is my favorite universal oh. monster? What? Is that when I look at this guy, uh -huh. I don't see Hollywood special effects. I don't see oh. Hollywood makeup. Yeah. I, I see a real monster. Right. Like this design on this costume is so seamless. Right. That it doesn't seem like a costume. Yeah. He seems real to me. Yeah, he looks real to me too. And my sketch, by the way, uh -huh. this is not an exact copy of the original design. Okay, so it's your take on it. Yeah, it's like a slight variation. Right. Not that I could improve on the original <laughs> at all. I just, right. I wanted to make this a little, there's things I do when I draw monsters that uh -huh. I'm doing here, and I just wanted to make it a little bit mine here. Okay. Uh, the original design, yeah. as you know, the person we have to thank yeah. for this monster, for this series of movies, for the whole legacy of the creature, yeah. is Millicent Patrick. Yes, she impresses the heck out she of me. She is amazing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think she started as an ink and paint girl at yeah. Walt Disney Studios. Yeah, that's a, that was a tough job. Yeah, I'm sure. But she quickly moved to the animation and effects department. Cool. Yeah, where she became one of the first uh, female animators at Disney. That's pretty impressive. It is. That is no mean feat in 1940s oh, I know. America. It really is, yeah. And the stuff that she did can be seen in Fantasia. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, she created the monster Chernabog oh. from that final sequence, Night on Bald Mountain. Right, the big devil yeah, the guy big, with the wings. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, my God. He was incredible. So she created that monster yeah. for Disney. Right. And then she eventually moved to Universal. Yeah. Did a few other things and then created the creature. Yes. What a career. I know. So I've started to lay down the watercolor. Okay, good. On the figure. Yeah. I will do a swampy, watery background eventually. Oh, cool. Nice. But I'm starting with the figure. Okay. You know what, by the way, what really grinds my gears <laughs> about the Millicent Patrick uh, thing? Yeah, what? Not her. Oh, She's right. great. Yeah. But it's just that, you know, there's that book, uh -huh. The Lady from the Black Lagoon. Yes. That talks about how... Millicent Patrick's career was sidelined yeah. by Bud Westmore, right. her colleague or boss at Universal, yeah. who got jealous of all the credit or attention she was receiving yeah. for having created the creature. Right. She did like a, a 40 studio tour, radio stations, TV studios, where she would bring the mask, I think, oh, and, my. and talk about her work at the studio, talk about yeah. the movie, doing a lot of promotion. Yeah, that's good. And she was billed as the beauty who created the beast. Yeah. And then Westmore, I guess, according to this book, got upset. Yeah. He made them change it to the beauty who lives with the Ugh. beast. 
is that? What is that? What is that? Come on. So then she does all this hard work. Right. She creates this iconic monster, and then she gets back to Universal. Yeah. And she's fired. Ugh. I, I hate him so much. I know. I, I it, 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 the flame, <laughs> flames on the side of my face. I can breathing. see oh, them. God. Man. Right? That stinks. It really does. Especially after creating not one, but two iconic Hollywood monsters. Yeah. She was mistreated. I'm glad uh, that people know now Yeah. that she was responsible for Me the creature. Me too. I'm glad it came out. Yeah. yeah. Sadly, though, I don't think, after she was fired from Universal, I don't yeah. think she worked in Hollywood pre-production animation um, special effects ever again. Oh, that's sad. It's horrible. Yeah, it is. All right, I gotta calm down. I know. Think happy thoughts. Okay, happy. Here's a happy thought. Yeah. When I was a kid, maybe around 10 or 11. Okay. I saw The Creature from the Black Lagoon uh, on the big screen oh. at a theater yeah. in 3D. Oh my gosh. At a midnight showing of oh, the movie. That is yeah, awesome. It was fantastic. Yeah. My mom took us okay. when I was a kid. I think she really secretly loved watching horror movies. Yeah. Or maybe just hanging out with me. I okay. don't know. I could see that. Definitely. That's valid. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she actually made my brothers and me. She, it was a school night. Oh my too, gosh. I, <laughs> but we begged. We begged oh and pleaded. Gosh. I wanted to see a 3D movie. I had never yeah. seen one in okay. real life. So wow. she said she would take us if, this is ridiculous. Uh -huh. She said if we went to sleep <laughs> at like five in the evening <laughs> <laughs> to, to catch up with our sleep oh so that we gosh. wouldn't be, you know, and like sleep right. from five till 10. Oh, no. And then she would wake us. And then we'd go to the theater. That's fantastic. It was a terrible idea. I love it. <laughs> we couldn't sleep. We were lying around oh, like, yeah. oh, this is going to be a 3D movie. I know. The You're so the Black excited. We, oh, man, I was dead the next day at school. I bet. I was exhausted. <laughs> but that movie, oh, in 3D is amazing. I bet, yeah. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> so I have taped down my creature. Oh, good. And I have begun to ink wash yeah. an amorphous, cloudy background behind him. Okay. I wanted it to look swampy, just something to fit him. Oh, right. Fit the monster. And I'm using regular painter's tape that you would get in a hardware oh. store. I tried this once when I was a kid, uh -huh. and I borrowed some painter's tape from the my dad's tools. Okay. And whatever I used, not only did the paint get under the tape, oh, no. but when I ripped the tape up, it tore the paper. Uh, so yeah. I asked our friend Dave Walker, yeah. well, what do you use? And he's like, painter's tape, you idiot. Oh, my oh gosh. all right. So, <laughs> so it, and it does work. I guess they oh, must good. have improved the quality of painter's tape right? over the past few decades. Technology. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So after I do the ink wash, uh -huh. I then start laying down some of the watercolor on oh, top good. of that. Okay. And I'm glad I did the ink wash first because yeah. it lent kind of a muddy murkiness to these oh, vibrant yeah. watercolors. Yeah. It kind of took it down in tone. Okay. And I really kind of like the way it was turning out at this point. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking a little swampy. Don't you mean it's looking a little lagoony? Yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a little art supply shopping. Oh, yeah. And I came across these Dervent paint pens. Okay. And I thought I wanted to try them out. Of course. They are paint pens, but the paint inside is water soluble. Oh. And I thought that would be kind of a cool way yeah. to put some glistening, okay. shiny water droplets all over this creature's scales and skin. Yeah. And if I wanted to, uh -huh. I could since I was doing watercolor and ink wash anyway, yeah. I could use a brush and some water to dilute it if oh. I wanted, to wipe it up if That's I wanted. Great. And yeah. I gotta tell you, this is, I don't make a lot of brilliant decisions, but uh -huh. this one was pretty smart. This is a good I pen. I think so. I think it's gonna be part of my regular arsenal. Oh, that's great. It's nice for these little finishing touches if you wanna just put some, some white highlights. Oh yeah. And by the way, these Derwent paint pens, Yeah come in an entire line of colors. Oh, I that's nice. I think there's nice. 20 different colors. Wow. Some of them are blacks and whites and grays. Okay. Some of them are more natural colors. There are some neons in there. Oh, nice. But I think there's a good selection to choose from if you want to add to some of yeah. your watercolor or ink washes. That's a good variety. Yeah. So there is Millicent Patrick's Creature from the Black yeah. Lagoon from Universal Studios. Yes. And my favorite Universal monster. He is your favorite. So we did him in ink, yeah. pen, brush pen, ink wash, watercolor. I think it wow. turned out okay. 
I do too. I, I love have them. a lot of fun. You know what? I'm having a lot of fun trying new stuff. Oh, good. Trying out the watercolors. Trying out the. It yeah. looks pretty good now. It does. Imagine what it'll look like when I have some idea of what I'm doing. <laughs> it'll be great. I hope so. Yeah.